Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be talking about the Apple Watch and the iOS 8.4 jailbreak. So let's jump right into the video. Okay, like I said guys, I'm going to be talking about those two jailbreaks in this video for the Apple Watch and iOS 8.4. I've been getting a lot of actual questions about this and I figured I would answer them in this video. I'm going to start by talking about the iOS 8.4 jailbreak because that's going to be the more prominent one. So to begin, I'll show you guys the WWDC website, which actually will explain my logic for you guys. So I've been reading a lot of articles and looking at a lot of videos on the internet that say with the release of WWDC 15 this year from Apple, um, they're going to be releasing iOS 9. And along with iOS 8.4, the jailbreakers do not have access to those softwares yet. So it would be sort of pointless for them to develop an iOS 8.3 jailbreak. So as you can see, I'll scroll down here. It says the actual conference for WWDC is June 8th to June 12th in San Francisco. Right now, it is May 21st, so we have a couple of weeks before this. And the jailbreakers really tend to wait until they have full access to all the software. And knowing that the actual conference is going to be happening then when they release iOS 9 and iOS 8.4, which is actually in June, it would not really make sense for them to release the iOS 8.3 jailbreak right now. And saying that, they actually probably will start developing the iOS 9.1 and the iOS 8.4.1 when they get the hands on their software. But right now, I wouldn't expect it to come out until at least two or three weeks from now when the WWDC is going on and they actually have the betas in their hands. That being said, I think it will be about the same as the Pangu and Taik jailbreak tools were, where it'll be one click, you hook up your device, and it'll just be simple, uh, no problems at all. Jailbreaking is getting tougher and tougher, but I think it'll still remain that way. So for those of you who don't know what Taig and Pangu are, it was two Chinese uh, jailbreak tools. This is Ta or Taig's website right here. As you guys can see, it's all in Chinese. You can download it for Windows. And this is Pangu, which actually was for Windows and Mac, which I used to jailbreak my device back a couple weeks ago. This one is actually was, was in English, but it was actually made um, by Chinese developers. So those two were one click. As you can see, all you have to do is click the Start Jailbreak button right here with your device plugged in, and it would jailbreak your device. I expect the jailbreak to be just like that. However, in terms of release, I expect them to release it sometime around the WWDC a couple of weeks from now as it wouldn't really make sense before that. In terms of the Apple Watch jailbreak, I actually have the Apple Watch on right here, as you can see. Um, and I think it will actually be very cool to see what they can do with that. The Apple Watch actually runs through the iPhone, so all you would really need to do, in my opinion, would be to jailbreak your iPhone. And they may actually have applications that you'd be able to run on the Apple Watch through the iPhone. Again, that Apple Watch is a totally different device that runs totally different. Than the, than the iPhone, so we'll have to wait and see, but I think that would be very cool if, it, if you could jailbreak the Apple Watch through the iPhone. It would give you the ability to actually customize different things like the watch faces, save battery, um, in install other apps you're not allowed to use on, maybe even make it a standalone device, actually hack into certain things on the Apple Watch that you wouldn't be able to do. So I think that's very cool, um, but that's my thoughts on those jailbreaks. That's what you need to know, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully it helped you out. If you have any more questions, just leave a comment down there below. Also, be sure to subscribe with thumbs up favorite. I got my social networks down there and links for you guys to get paid iOS and Android apps for free. And I'm here just making these videos because I enjoy doing it, and hopefully you guys enjoy it too. And stay tuned. I'll be doing a lot more Apple videos in the near future, so stay tuned, guys, and I'll catch you later. Peace.